Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the second grade concept of data analysis, specifically how we can write and solve bar graph problems, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have a simple bar graph here, and it asks students what kind of pet they own, and we have answers from rabbit, dog, cat, goldfish, and hamster. One thing it might be good to do before we go any further is you see that the interval on the left is going up by 1, so we go from 0 counting by ones all the way up to 11. But let's go ahead and put some numbers in here. So my rabbit is four. And it's always good to just label your bar graph if you can, just so you don't uh, accidentally miss a number because you uh, aren't necessarily lining things up. So you see if my cats go all the way up to the top, that's 11. There are six goldfish. And you see all the way over here, the hamsters, the hardest one to see, simply because it's all the way on the right and my numbers are on the left. So I would could draw a line if I need to, but I can see that that is five. So these are the numbers that I have. What are some basic problems that we can ask and answer from this bar graph? Well, the simplest ones would be which pet, and we might ask, had, um, had the most or the least. So we might say which pet had the most, and the answer to that question isn't going to be a number. It's simply going to be the name of the pet that has the most. In this case, it's the cat, because there are 11 students that chose the cat. And then I could ask the same thing, but it would be the opposite. Which pet had the least? So this is just to understand what these two terms mean, most and least. In this case, we're looking at the, the greatest uh, and the smallest. And so the, the smallest is going to be the rabbit. There's only four students that chose the rabbit. So another problem we might be able to write, and we can do this uh, a few different ways, is comparing two of the animals. So I might say, how many more? And that's going to set me up for a subtraction problem. How many more students? And then I'm just going to pick two of these different uh, animals. And I'll say chose cat. And I'll just say compared to, uh, let me just pick dog, cats and dogs. And so what we need to do here is instead of just writing numbers down, we actually have to do a little bit of a subtraction problem. So we can say there are 11 cats. And I want to compare that with 8 dogs, so I want to see how many more the cats are than the dogs, which means I need to subtract, and that's going to give me three. So I could do that uh, for another one if I wanted to, and I might say how many students, in this case, I'm going to choose two that are a little bit closer. And so I'm going to pick, let's say, goldfish. Chose goldfish. And then the problem with that is if I'm going to say goldfish, goldfish has six, and that's the one that's got the, the, the greater number here. The only choices I have are hamster and rabbit, because when you're writing it like this, the bigger one comes first. How many more chose goldfish? So I couldn't say goldfish than cats, because they actually chose more cats. So when I'm writing this problem, my first number, so this is going to be six, has to be larger than the second one. So I can either choose a hamster or a rabbit because those are both smaller. And then I, I'm, I might say compared to, I forgot that up there, compared to rabbit. And so we're going to do another subtraction, 6 minus 4, and that's 2. And then finally, I might add, I might say how many pets were chosen in all. In all gives me a big addition problem. I've got to take all of these, these numbers and I've got to add them up. So I need to add up 4 plus 8 plus 11 plus 6 plus 5. And I can do this any way I want to. So I'm going to take these two numbers. That's an 11. So I've got 11 and 11. So that's 22. And 4 and 8 is 12, so 12 plus 22 makes 34 pets were chosen in all.